Okay, so today we have something a little bit unusual. This is a Fisher twin carbon arc lamp. Um, unfortunately, this is not the kind of arc lamp that they would have been used in like movie studios or anything like that. This is an arc lamp that was basically, it's a quack medical device. Um, it would be used to subject the patient to ultraviolet rays um, to supposedly cure illnesses. Um, so, in reality, it's pretty much basically the um, one of the earliest tanning beds. Um, but, picked this up for a few bucks at the local thrift store. Um, got the original handle. Uh, it's missing the stand. It should have had like a tripod stand. I did find another one like this online that somebody had converted to an electric lamp. Uh, but, and this, this cover, the rear cover to me reminds me of a colander with these stars on here. But, this one, thankfully, still has the original arc lamp assembly in it. Uh, but, unfortunately, these two ceramic insulators here, there's one on this side and one over here, are broken. This one here is just cracked up at the top. This one on the other side is cracked at the top and here on both sides of the weight assembly. But overall it appears to be complete. It looks like it was crushed at some point because the the rear cover doesn't fit like it should. These little standoffs here are supposed to be like peened into the outer casing. Um, what else? Like the, it, it's not not round. I don't know if you can tell that on the video or not, but overall it should work. It's listed as 110 volts, 12 amps, so I was hoping once I get that uh, old home light DC lighting generator that I have, when I get that working, try to run it off of that. But we might try running it because our clamps run on DC so you need either a welding supply now a unit that would run off a welding supply would be maybe like a 36 volts 30 some volt unit that didn't have a ballast resistor on it or um, or just not as large of a ballast resistor but this one being that it's supposed rated to run on 110 volts, where I'm going to try to power it up off of a rectifier. I believe these are capable of handling 50 amps. I'm not sure. They were Chinese things. I got about 10 of them or something for like $1.25 a piece. So who knows? Won't hurt to try. I have it mounted on a heat sink here just to. Well, it's mounted on the heat sink because this, this particular one I was going to be using on my power supply build that I'm working on, but we'll try it. If it fries the rectifier, it fries the rectifier. I unbolted it, put another one on. No big deal. Anyway, let's take a look at this arc lamp. Um, now we have it. Power is coming in through a standard outlet. Now that's odd because most, being DC, you would normally have a polarity, like the larger movie lights, and, but they also had different, uh, differently sized carbons. They used, I believe it was a smaller one on the neg positive side, smaller one on the positive side and a larger one on the negative side, but this one is a twin arc, twin lamp setup, and this is what we are going to be using 
those carbon rods from the battery for. Now this is the carbon rod that was in it. There was actually two of them in it. These appear to be that they were welding rods probably. Uh, where did I put these? Here they are. But the carbon rods out of the battery should work. They are the same size. Uh, 5 sixteenths I believe. So we'll fit those in here and then I'll show you how this thing works. Well we're not going to fire it up quite yet but just as far as operation, how, to, how it operates. Now, I'm not sure what type of light output this will have due to the fact uh, we had a little bit of there was a little bit of apparently flashover down on this one mount here. Right here, it looks like it arced right there. And it's a little bit out of shape. And the carbon doesn't quite fit in there. sure they're all seated. Now, like I said, we're not going to fire it up, but I'll just show you how it would operate. I believe it should still work, even with the broken ceramic insulators, but who knows what will happen be honest. Um, now the way this works is it runs in the, the electrodes are wired in series so power comes in through here this terminal right here and goes into the ballast which goes around and down into this electrode. So the arc actually flows from, yeah, this electrode up across. Well, the arc doesn't go across, but the power flows. It Power comes in through here, up this electrode, arcs, goes down through here. There's a little flexible cable tied between these two screws here. So the power goes across here, up this electrode, arcs, and then back down. Um, so I'm not sure what sort of light output this will have. We'll see. But it would be quite interesting to see how it would run in parallel. But that would be probably pulling about like 30 amps and we don't have that kind of power right now. I'm not sure the output of that home light generator, but we'll just try and run it as it is for now. But how this operates is we have a little weight here and this little mechanism, you load, load the carbons in, push these two top ones up and then to you connect power to it. Oops, let's, you have it in there like that. And then there's this button on top that's connected in the center there. Push that in, and your carbons drop, touch. They should strike, and then you release that button, and it pulls them up about sixteenth eighth of an inch. Um, now, of course, this mechanism is a little bit sticky because 
it's not straight. So it'll take a little bit of work to get it to actually work properly. But like I said, we'll see what we can do with it. And let's try that. No, almost. There you go. Strike and release. And then if your arc gets down again, you would probably just you'd hit that button and it would reset. It's kind of automatic, which is why this would these go up further for probably for long would they would work with longer rods. Probably would come out to about here to start, and then they would burn back, and they should burn all the way back to here. Now I'm not sure how long the arc the carbons will last. Um, again, since these aren't proper lamp carbons, I'm not sure how long they'll last, period. They might burn up real quick, they might last longer, who knows? But we'll see that in an upcoming video, and again, thanks for watching.